When I first arrived in the WWE, you people looked on me as just another snot-nosed punk. I was the new guy. The cocky third-generation superstar who had done nothing to prove himself. You people offered me no respect. So I made you take notice. I set out to eliminate the heroes you people hold dearest. The WWE Legends. Sergeant Slaughter. Shawn Michaels. Harley Race. Jake the Snake Roberts. Roddy Piper. I destroyed every one of them. And last night at the Royal Rumble, I completed my mission. Roll the footage. The final legend in WWE, The Undertaker, has been killed. Randy Orton is a legend killer no more. Now, I am the legend. Here we go, 24 hours since that unforgettable Royal Rumble. And Orton's body is still ravaged with bruises and bruises. But he can't focus on that now, not with Mysterio in the ring. Evil intentions in the eyes of Orton. in an unnatural way. What a counter! Oh. There goes Mysterio! Ow! What an elbow! wonder if what Orton's saying could be true. That footage he showed was just awful. Well, Orton better get his hand in the game or Mysterio's gonna make a highlight reel at the champ's expense. With a cover now. One, two, three! And Orton picks up the win. Randy, I've had enough of you, your boasting, and your bragging. I would have done this last night, but out of respect for Undertaker, I didn't. But tonight, 
I'm cashing in my Money in the Bank briefcase, and I am taking home the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh my gosh! Hardy's cashing in Money in the Bank! A smart move by Matt. Half the physical match with Mysterio. And only 24 hours from Hell in a Cell, Orton is definitely at his most vulnerable. Oh, what a knee! He's still not through! Hardy lost the edge he had at the beginning of this match. Maybe he should have cashed in last night after all. He's putting those educated feet to good use. And Hardy just a bit faster on that exchange. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Whoa, what a hit! This is it! Here he goes! He's going for the pin! This could be it! Two! Three! three. And Orton wins. I've seen some impressive things in my time, but that was an incredible showing from Orton tonight. He fought off not one, but two of the best competitors in the WWE. But what toll has it taken on the champion's condition? We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. Welcome from Buffalo, New York, and tonight's Monday Night Raw.
Last week, Orton had to not only beat the Intercontinental Champion, but also beat back an impromptu challenge by Matt Hardy. I'm sure the World Heavyweight Champion is hoping for a more laid-back evening. We'll see if he gets it. How could it be my fault if you were the one who got pinned? Because you're the one who hung me out to dry. You're the one... Hey, cut that crap out! You're a team. Some team, Randy. I can't tag out for a minute's rest without him looking up at the lights. Maybe if you were better at something other than taking a beating, you wouldn't have to tag out so quick. That's enough. You've both got a lot of talent, but everybody has an off night. That's no reason to break up a great team. Yeah, you're right, Randy. But I need to know, which one of us is the better superstar? I'd be happy to show you tonight. If you think that'll solve things, then do it. Have a match tonight and squash this. Okay, I'll do that. But Randy, will you be the ref? That way there will be no question that I beat Teddy Boy here legit. I'm fine with Randy refereeing. Fine, I'll do it. But after this, don't make me play kindergarten teacher again. Last month, these two men were World Tag Team Champions. Now, they're bickering like spoiled children. And who would have thought Orton would be their surrogate parent? Moody's <laughs> uh. uh. in the driver's seat. Uh. An elbow! Uh. Oh. What are they doing? That they're about Randy? I don't believe this! But I sure do like it. And the numbers are just too great. Well, I'm not going to pretend I don't enjoy seeing Randy like this. <clears throat> Woo, a little showboating going on here. I guess these two would turn on Randy like this. Not me, Michael. I thought these three were on the same page. I have no love for Randy Orton, but I still don't like the look of this. Oh, man, what a shot. Did you hear that sickening sound? Two steel chairs right against Randy Orton's skull. What can we say, Randy? You taught us well, but we're younger and hungrier than you are. And you said it yourself, Randy. You're the new legend in WWE. Since that's the case, you can just consider us the new legend killers.
Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Raw, ladies and gentlemen. And last week, things finally caught up to champion Randy Orton. It was from an unlikely source, too. His supposed friends, Ted DiBiase and Cody Rhodes. They certainly did a number on Orton. It's painful to watch. Randy, cheer up. You couldn't compete tonight, but the doc says you should be cleared next week. What I plan to do, I don't need to do in a sanctioned WWE match. Don't be too hard on those boys, son. They're young and hungry, just like you were. Uh, I mean, like you are. Well, that's just great. Take the side of the guys who caved in your kid's skull with chairs. I didn't mean it like that. I, I just... And by the way, Dad... Nobody is more driven and ruthless than I am. And if you didn't know that already... You know it now. We're live with Raw in Indianapolis, Indiana. Thank you for joining us. As Randy Orton's star seems to be falling at a meteoric pace, Ted DiBiase and Cody Rhodes' stars are on the rise. Randy did the unthinkable by attacking his own father, while Cody Rhodes earned himself the number one contender slot by defeating Shawn Michaels last week. Is this a change into the guard we're experiencing? You got a problem with me? I'm right here. I have no problem with your ability, Randy. But I got a problem with you. You may call yourself a champion, but what sort of champion are you? A champion respects the people who paved the way, <laughs> if you will. A champion sure doesn't do what you did to your daddy last week. You're not a champion. You're certainly not a legend. What you are, young man, is a disgrace. This for all the legends you disrespected, Randy.
I guess that's one for the Orton family against the Rhodes family. With Cody becoming number one contender, I wonder if this family feud will continue at No Way Out. It's less than a week away, Michael, so we won't have to wait long to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live in Detroit, Michigan for what's set to be an epic No Way Out. This is going to be great, Cole. Our champion Randy Orton hasn't been in a WWE ring for weeks, but tonight he faces the number one contender, Cody Rhodes. The mind games have been played, and the stakes couldn't be higher. But who will walk out with the World Heavyweight title tonight? Plenty of me to go around for the Rhodes father-son duo. If Dusty shows his face at ringside, he should eat an RKO. It's no secret how these two feel about each other, but tonight it's bigger than that. Tonight it's about the World Heavyweight title. And not only is Cody hungry for that title, he's also got the American Dream in his corner. champion ever tonight and we both know who holds that distinction randy orton he's got him hooked now you'll be feeling that in the morning i think he's through playing around Jim Orton has been utterly demolished. Cody Rhodes put up a hell of a fight, Michael, but Orton would not be denied. We hope you've enjoyed No Way Out. See you Monday for Raw. Philadelphia, home of tonight's Monday Night Raw. 
Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler here, and we're hot off the heels of No Way Out. What a mean event we had last night, Michael. Cody Rhodes really stepped up his game, but he could not become WWE's youngest ever world champion against Randy Orton. Both superstars are likely spent from that match, and I bet they're hoping to have an easy night's work. I see Randy Orton coming to the ring right now. Tired or not, he never misses a chance to gloat. Last night at No Way Out, you witnessed the lone legend get even stronger. Cody lasted long enough to give you people your money's worth, but we all knew he didn't have the goods. You only need to look at his daddy to know he's at one level, and I am way up here. The age of Orton is unstoppable. I feel like a million bucks. I look like a million bucks, and there's not a person walking this earth today who can... Speaking of a million dollars... It's true, Randy. You are pretty good. In fact, you remind me of me when I was in my prime here in the WWE. I had a chip on my shoulder. I was on top of the world. Don't say that, Ted. I'm a multi-time world champion. The only time you ever got to this level was when you tried to buy it. You never reached the top. And neither will that spoiled trust fund kid of yours. You know, I remember when you were in diapers, running around the locker room bothering us superstars. You've had that same snot-nosed attitude ever since, Randy. I thought you'd have grown up a little by now. I won't waste much of my breath here, because you're not going to listen to what I had to say. Just remember, everybody's got a price, Randy. And for some, it's not always money. Stand there.